بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى أهل الصحبة. I'm going to share with you a story of the African farmer. It's a wonderful story that I heard many times, and every time I find in that story a lot of power, a lot of insights, and a lot of inspiration. The story goes like this: An African farmer heard that people in Africa are discovering diamond mines, and those who discover diamond mines overnight become rich and wealthy. So he thought to himself, why am I bothering myself with this farm for many years? I can never get rich by having a farm. Why don't I sell my farm and then go in search for a diamond mine? If I find one, then I'll become rich and my life will become better. So he sold the farm and moved on in the jungles of Africa in search of a diamond mine. North and south, East and West, year one, year two, year three, was roaming the jungles of Africa in search of a diamond mine. After three years of fearless search, couldn't find one and was bankrupt, couldn't go back home, had lost his money, his farm, and all his living. Out of disparity, he decided to end his life. In the meantime, the farm that he sold, he sold it to another farmer. The new farmer now had a friend who was a businessman. Three months down the road, the businessman visits the farmer in his new farm. And in that church, as they were having, or in that visit, as they were having tea and coffee, the businessman noticed in the new farmer's house a piece of stone lying at the corner of the living room. Picked up the stone and looked at it, and then he asked the farmer, where did you find this stone? Where did you get it from? The new farmer said, I was watering my mule at the edge of my farm. I saw this stone and I liked it. He says, can you take me to that place? So he took him to that place. And lo and behold, there was another stone and another stone and another stone. The businessman then shouted and said, this is a diamond mine. What? Yes. This is the diamond mine. The previous farmer thought a diamond mine is what you discover in a cave that comes in a closet where in it you find glittering diamonds, sh shining golds and silver. Apparently the old farmer used to watch a lot of Alibaba's movies. He didn't realize that diamonds in the raw format they come like stones. What they need to do, they need to be sharpened, they need to be shaped, they need to be polished in a manner that they can come forth and people would accept to buy them. The moral of the story is that a diamond mine, an acre of diamond was just below his feet. He roamed the jungle of Africa, he was searching for something else. He didn't realize he had all the wealth below his feet. Even if he had come across another 250 other diamond mines, would never have recognized them because he was searching for the wrong thing. The other moral of the story is this, my dear, uh, my dear viewers. Each one of us as human beings has got that acre of diamonds. They reside within us. Yet, we go around in search of what can make us better from the outer world, not realizing that we are so wealthy, we are so rich. Our acres of diamond come in the form of talent. That raw talent is not good enough. First, we have to discover that raw talent. And then we need to transform that raw talent into skills. Because people buy skills. People pay for skills. People need skills. They don't need talent. So to transform talent into skill, one has to discover the talent, number one. And then they have to improve train, develop, and improve on that talent to transform it into skill. Through training, through rigorous training, through practice, through discipline, through perfection. And then they shift that talent from being average to become extra average, to become superior, to become excellent. So from being average to becoming excellent. 
Today in the world, we have enough average people. We have enough ordinary people. What we need are the extraordinary people. And the only way to become extraordinary is to identify your talent, work on improving your talent, transforming it into skills. Once you master your skills, you become that diamond. So be the diamond. Thank you. Ooh, 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 ooh.